In the second unit, you are going to study regarding operations on sets as well as matrix algebra, conditional and biconditional statement, and writing the truth values for this conditional and biconditional statement. Usually, a determinant of two rows to column is denoted as A1, A2, B1, B2. This is a determinant. Finding the eigenvalues for the vector. So, the Cali Hamilton theorem is nothing but determinant A minus lambda is equal to zero. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of Mathematical Foundation class of first semester BCA. I am Mr. Niranjan, faculty, Department of Computer Science, Vidashnam First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So today in this session, I am going to discuss regarding the syllabus of first semester BCA Mathematical Foundation of uh, Mysore University. Now today in this introduction class, I will discuss regarding the syllabus. So, in mathematical foundation, you have three units, first unit number one, unit two and unit three, in unit one. So, you are going to study regarding basic concepts of set theory, set the basic concepts of a set like the definition of sets, types of sets and uh, the problems based on uh, formation of the sets and the operations on sets like union of sets, intersection of sets complementation of sets, difference of sets and the problems based on uh, the union and the intersection and the complementation of sets. Those things which you are going to study in the first unit that is called uh, basic concepts of uh, set theory. And in the second unit you are going to study regarding operations on sets as well as matrix algebra. First unit we are going to study the operations of sets and again in the second unit the continuation of uh, operations on set as well as the functions you are going to study relations and functions and very important concept is matrix algebra matrix algebra in the second unit whereas if you come to unit number three so here you are going to study regarding the second part of the matrix that is the determinants as well as the differential calculus so in unit number three we are going to study regarding matrices as well as the determinants and uh, the differential calculus that is limits you are going to study regarding the limits and the theorems based on the limits as well as a uh, differentiation of small uh, algebraic functions right so these are the three important units which you are going to study for uh, 60 more so usually each unit will carry 20 20 20 20 plus 20 plus 20 usually you will get uh, 60 marks the question paper will be 60 marks so this is 60 marks question paper and each unit will contains will purchase equal marks like 20 plus 20 plus 20 for uh, the final examination. So unit 1, unit 2, unit 3, first unit is basic concepts of sets theory and the second one is the operations on sets as well as the matrix algebra and in the third unit we are going to study matrices as well as determinants and our differential calculus that is limits and differentiations. Now let us discuss in detail what are the syllabus we are going to study. Now in the first unit basic concepts of set theory we are going to study very very important concept that is the mathematical logic introduction to mathematical logic so this is very new you might have been studied in your basic math classes this is very simple concept so in this basic introduction for logic we are going to study regarding the statements then statements that is the propositions the statements whether we are going to say it is true or false that is nothing but the truth values and the connectives connectives like uh, negation conjunction disjunction and writing the truth table for all these conjunction disjunction condition that is writing the truth table for this uh, connectives then statement formulas and the truth values then conditional and biconditional statement and writing the truth values for this conditional and biconditional statement and very very important concept you are going to study is the tautology and the contradiction tautology contradiction and uh, equivalence relation the formulas on equivalence relation and uh, the last concept is duality law that is a uh, predicates and the quantifiers and as well as the uh, arguments this is very important concept so in the first set first unit you are going to study regarding basic concepts of set theory as well as very important concept is mathematical logic so the basic concepts of set theory then followed by mathematical logic introduction to mathematical logic in mathematical logic we are going to write the truth table for the connectives the statements like conjunction disjunction conditional biconditional 
and uh, then explaining the given equation whether the given statement is a tautology or a contradiction or neither tautology or nor contradiction and also verifying the equivalence relation equivalence of the formulas and last concept is duality law that is nothing but the predicates and the quantifiers as well as the arguments this is very simple chapter so this entire chapter depends upon the truth values for the connectives like conjunction disjunction conditional biconditional and uh, negation then very important concept you might have been studied you are going to study in this is the converse inverse and the contrapositive right now let us come to the next unit unit number 2 in unit number 2 so we are going to study regarding the operations on sets in the first unit we are going to study regarding the definition of a sets and the types of sets whereas in second unit we are going to study regarding the operations on sets operations on sets like uh, union of sets intersection of sets suppose if a and b are any two sets then a union b a intersection b and the difference a minus b and the complement a dash these are called the operations that is the operations on the set and then the power set very important is the power set then uh, venn diagram representing the statements union intersection difference complementation in a diagram that is called venn diagram and again cartesian product of the relations then and the function types of function and very important composition of a function now the next concept you are going to study in unit 2 is matrix algebra so in matrix algebra so first you are going to study the definition of a matrix and the types of a matrices different types of matrices like a row matrix row matrix column matrix null matrix square matrix scalar matrix diagonal matrix then symmetric matrix q symmetric matrix these are the few definition which you are going to study in the uh, matrix algebra the definition as well as uh, the transpose of a matrix and the problems based on uh, the operations like addition of matrices subtraction of matrices then a scalar multiplication of matrices and matrix multiplication addition subtraction scalar multiplication and matrix multiplications are the operations which we are going to study in this uh, matrix algebra and the problems based on the transpose that is the um, operations as well as the problems based on the transpose of the matrix and the next second part you are going to study is the determinant of a matrix so in matrix you are going to study only operations on matrices and the transpose of the matrices and the problems based on that whereas the second part you are going to study regarding the determinant of a matrix expanding a determinant of two rows two column and uh, three rows three column usually a determinant of two rows two column is denoted as a1 a2 b1 b2 this is a determinant and similarly for three rows and three column expanding a determinant of two rows two column and three rows three column and uh, then finding the inverse of a matrix using determinant so just finding the cofactors finding the cofactors then adjoint of a square matrix the adjoint of a square matrix is denoted as adj adj is the adjoint of a matrix by knowing the adjoint of a square matrix we are going to find the inverse of a square matrix this is a very important concept inverse of a square matrix by finding the adjoint of a square matrix you might have been studied in your previous classes a inverse is equal to 1 over determinant of a into adjoint a this is the formula to find the inverse of a matrix now then the last concept in this matrix algebra you are going to study is Cramer's rule so this is nothing but solving it simultaneous equations of two or three variables solving any two simultaneous equations of two variables or solving any three simultaneous equations of three variables so it can be done using a well known rule that is called as the Cramer's rule so that is nothing but solving the simultaneous equation by determinant method so in determinant method what we are going to find we are going to use a formula to find delta x is equal to delta 1 divided by delta and delta y is equal to delta 2 divided by delta and delta z is equal to delta 3 divided by delta this is for a three equations three rows and three column determinants so it is x y and z finding the value of x y and z using determinant method is called the Cramer's rule that's it very important concept in this unit 2 you may expect a, a full question from mat inverse of a matrix and solving a problem simultaneous equation by Cramer's rule and the problems based on a 
types of matrices and operations on matrices as well as the representation of a set using Venn diagram and the composition and the Cartesian product of the sets. Now, the very important the concept is the third unit, unit number three. In unit three, so we are going to study again matrices. The second part of the matrix that is called a finding the rank of a matrix. This is a new concept. So, finding the rank of a 2 rows 2 column matrix and 3 rows 3 column matrix even for 4 rows 4 column matrix. So, from finding the rank of a square matrix using the normal form as well as echelon form. So, you finding the rank of a matrix using normal form and echelon form and the very very important theorem we are going to study is the Kelly hamilton theorem. So, verifying Kelly hamilton theorem and finding the eigenvalues for the vector. So, the Kelly hamilton theorem is nothing but determinant a minus lambda is equal to 0. So, verifying this Kelly hamilton theorem for 2 rows 2 column and 3 rows 3 column matrix and finding the eigenvalues that is lambda 1, lambda 2 for the given matrix, finding the eigenvalues. So, this is very important concept that is finding the rank of a matrix is one sure question, you will get one sure question from finding the rank of a matrix and uh, verifying the Kelly hamilton theorem for 2 rows 2 column or 3 rows 3 column is also a sure question. So, these are the important things which we are going to study again in matrix. Second unit we are going to study the matrices as well as the determinant whereas in third unit we are going to study again matrices. So, finding the rank of a matrix and verifying the Kelly hamilton theorem and uh, finding the values of uh, eigenvalues, finding the eigenvalues for the given matrix. And the last concept we are going to study is the differential calculus. This is very simple part. So, in differential calculus, you are going to study only the two concepts, the functions and the limits, evaluating the limits of a given function and there are two important theorem. So, limit theorem, limit extends to A of x raised to n, you might have been studied, limit extends to A of x raised to n minus A raised to n by x minus a is equal to n a to the power of n minus 1 where n is a rational number, there are three cases arises, n is a positive integer, negative integer and a fraction and one more theorem that is called the sandwich theorem, you might have been studied, that is limit theta tends to 0 of sin theta by theta is always equal to 1 where theta is in radians. So, the functions and the limits and evaluating the simple limits, those things we are going to study in the limits. And next the concept is the differentiation, differentiation of algebraic functions. So, the all derivatives of all the uh, algebraic functions we are going to study using the concept of uh, derivative d by dx of x to the power of n is equal to nx to the power of n minus 1. So, using this formula we are going to derive all the algebraic functions. So, differentiation of algebraic function and evaluation of first and second order uh, derivatives of uh, algebraic functions. And the last concept is by knowing this first and second order derivatives, we are going to find the maximum and minimum value of a given function. So, finding the maximum value and minimum value of a function using first derivative test and the second derivative test dy by dx and the d square y by dx square is the thing which we are going to study in this maximum and minimum. Finding the maximum and minimum value by finding the local maximum and local minimum, finding the extreme extreme values we are going to find the maximum value of the given function by knowing first derivative and the second derivative that is called a first and second derivative test. So, these are the few things which we are going to study in a first semester uh, mathematical foundation of first semester BCA right. So, the important uh, chapters are basic concepts of sets that is the unit number one and uh, that is there we are going to study regarding the logic and that is the second unit is operations on sets as well as the matrices, operations on sets as well as operations on matrices in the second unit. Whereas, if you come to the third unit, the very important concept that is uh, finding the rank of a matrix using uh, echelon form and the normal form and also very important concept that is the Kelly Hamilton theorem and finding the eigenvalues and the last part we are going to study is the differential calculus in that we are going to study limits of a function, limits the functions and limits, finding the limit of a given function and the very simple concept is differentiation, differentiations of some simple algebraic functions of using and finding the first and second order derivative for those algebraic functions. And the last concept which we are going to study is maxima and minima of a given function, finding the maximum value and the minimum value of a function using first and second derivative test. 
So these are the things which we are going to study. The weightage for this uh, subject is 60, the 60 marks. So in the question paper pattern, you may expect two marks questions, three mark questions as well as a four marks and a five marks question in the examination. So usually definitions and simple problems for two markers and uh, SA type problems for four marks and uh, five marks we are going to expect from this syllabus. So these are the detailed syllabus of a uh, first semester uh, mathematical foundation for a uh, BCA of Mysore University. Hope you got an idea regarding the syllabus of first semester BCA mathematical foundation of Mysore University. That is all regarding this session. Let us meet with a different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.